Today we're going to talk about some basic Windows processes. And whether you are a new user of a Windows computer or a fairly experienced user, I hope that you will find some things here that will help you. There is no need to take notes. Uh, you can have a copy of this presentation. It will run on your Windows XP computer. You can either bring me a CD and I'll burn a copy on that or bring me a memory stick. Most of these ideas are contained in more detail on some other presentations that are available to you. And if you want to get a copy of those, you can come and see me. So one of the questions that new users have often is, where do I start? This is rather overwhelming. Well, the sensible place to start is the place marked Start. To find that, you take your mouse. If you're a mouse user, you go down to the lower left corner of the window and you press start or you press the Windows key on your computer and when you do one of those two you see the start menu. Now you might say to yourself what is the Windows key? Well it's the key on your computer which is somewhere down near the space bar or in some, on some keyboards in the upper right hand corner and it looks like this. So you get that menu up and what do you do next? Well I suggest that you go to the help and support portion of that start menu and you click there. When you do you will open the help and support center uh, it looks like this, and on my computer it, there's a lot about Compaq, and you can learn more about your particular computer, but even if yours has no particular uh, information about your particular computer, I think there's a place on here that everyone who uses Windows should go to at one time or another, because there's all sorts of information there. It's called Windows Basics. And when you click that, when you get there, you will find Core Windows Tasks. Now, you will see uh, on many places in your computer a place to the left of a menu with a plus sign. When you click that plus, it opens up all sorts of other subparagraphs under Core Windows Tasks. There, this, the, this set of menus it, is a place where you can learn a lot of interesting things. There are all sorts of things here that I think you should look at, but let me just show you one. Let's look at the one that says working with files and folders. If I click that name, a whole bunch of tasks show up, which you can select to learn things about that particular task. So let's look at opening a file or folder. If I click that, it gives me specific directions as to how to open a file or a folder. It says, open my documents. Well, I'm sure that most of you know how to find my documents, but for those who don't, anytime you see a symbol like this, which is a shortcut symbol, and a set of words or a phrase which is underlined and in blue, that is a clickable set of words. So if I click on my documents, it will in fact open my documents. It has opened in a new window. Now, if that was what I wanted to continue to learn how to do, I could continue with the detailed instructions here about how to open a file or a folder and I could follow the detailed instructions and you will not notice that it is quite detailed. New users get confused on things like double click versus single click. Well this tells you here exactly what you need to do at each place and it has notes to help you 
with what you are doing. Now if I want to go back to some of the other tasks that are listed under working with files or folders, you will see that there are all sorts of things you can learn uh, about lots of functions that you need to do regularly on your computer and perhaps some things that you don't do regularly but every now and then you say to yourself, I wonder if I could uh, show file and folder tasks in Windows Explorer or save a file with a different name or format. Well, you can click each one of these and learn just what you can do. And I would like to point out that there are also some tutorials down at the bottom. You can click on one of these and when you do, after a couple more clicks, you will get the opportunity to double click on a tutorial which is a video uh, titled Opening and Saving a File. Opening and saving a file. In this exercise, you'll learn to locate and open files from the My Documents window. You'll also learn to save a file. Finally, you'll learn to change a folder view to display the folders list. Opening files so that you can view, edit, or print them is one of the most common tasks you'll perform in Windows. To open a file named Letter that's stored in the My Documents folder, Click the Start button and click My Documents. And the tutorial will not proceed until you do what it says. You have to click the Start button and then you have to find My Documents. See it says click My Documents next as soon as I click the Start button. I have to find that and click here before the tutorial will proceed. By default, the My Documents folder contains the My Music and My Pictures folders. And I am not going to uh, walk you through the rest of that. So here we are again at the Help and Support Center where we have looked at several subjects in Windows Basics. And we got there by going to the Start menu and clicking Help and Support. I really recommend that any Windows user take some time to go there, look at Windows Basics, and look at several of the core Windows tasks. I found some interesting things in working with programs and managing Windows. But now, let's go on to other places that a new user or an adventurous intermediate user might want to go in his or her computer. All of us who bought a computer probably bought it because we wanted to do some specific things on that computer. Maybe we wanted to type a letter and print it out so we could mail it. Maybe we wanted to find out uh, what's playing at the movies this weekend or what's playing at the Civic. Maybe we wanted to surf the internet for other purposes. Maybe we wanted to get our finances in order. And maybe we wanted to send and receive email. Well, for all of those things, you need specific programs that are either resident on your computer or which you can buy and make resident on your computer. So, how do you get at those programs? Well, once again, you go to the Start key or the Start location on your computer and then you go up to Programs. And When you get there, all the programs on your computer are displayed. In my case, there are a lot of them. There are some on here that I've never used. There are others that every time I do one of these seminars I get curious and click on one of them and I learn something new. So now I'll show you several programs that are on my computer. You'll see that some of them which have no little triangle or arrow over at the right will open directly if I click on this particular uh, line, anywhere in that blue line. 
But others, like the first one we're going to open, are in fact a suite of programs. This suite is Microsoft Office and it includes Microsoft Word, Microsoft Office PowerPoint for presentations, Microsoft Office Excel, which is a spreadsheet, and any one of these that you click on will open that particular program. So we are going to click on and open Microsoft Office Word. And of course this is the program that you would use if you wanted to type a letter, print it out, and mail it. And you have of course been looking at a document in Microsoft Word, which is where I constructed the document which is the outline for this presentation. Now the next program we're going to talk about is one of those that has no, uh, no separate suite of programs beyond it. That's Internet Explorer. You look for the blue E for Internet Explorer. And when it opens, it allows you to go online and go to a number of places where you may find things of interest. My home page is The Motley Fool, because that is a place where I learned a great deal about investing in stocks. With Internet Explorer, you can go to some very interesting places like Google where you can put in almost anything like uh, vacation rental San Diego. You do a Google search with the term vacation rental San Diego and you will find all sorts of places like the Bahia Resort Hotel, like uh, California Suites Hotel, San Diego Sunset Vacation Rentals, and sites like uh, 411.com and vacationrentals.com which lists hundreds of vacation rentals if you were interested in taking a vacation in San Diego. And when you get to one of these that looks interesting, you can click on the underlined words at the top and you will come up with a list of vacation rentals by owner in this particular case. And you can look at individual vacation rentals, perhaps a condo at uh, $1,100 to $1,900 a week or perhaps a 4,000 square foot luxury home with a new pool at 450 a night. Your choice. There are millions of places you can go on the internet to find interesting things. And when you find an interesting thing, you can put it in your favorites. I have places saved on my computer that I go back to. I was there a couple of times today looking up bank balances trying to solve a problem. Uh, you can look at old bank statements if you were set up with your bank to do that. Uh, I have uh, things relating to my family. Here was a grandchild where a video of his graduation was put up on YouTube and I can play that whenever I feel like it. I have uh, information on general information about Hawaii, places that I've found useful stuff. Uh, just all sorts of things. Quite a bit on investment on my computer. <laughs> 